Good Tuesday morning, everyone. It's around 11.35 here in Enid, Oklahoma. Thank you for joining us on Facebook Live. Uh, broadcasting uh, live from the City Administration at Administration Building. I'm Steve Kime, and we have a very special guest with me today, Scott Morris. Scott is our supervisor from Solid Waste, and we want to talk a little bit about uh, poly carts and placement and trash bags and things of this nature. Scott, good morning and welcome. Good morning, Steve. Right off the bat. Good to see you right off the bat. Uh, you know, Scott, there's a lot of people that move into the community. They may not be familiar with Polycart. First off, how does a person get a Polycart to their residence? Sure, Steve. Uh, most homes should already have a Polycart available when you come into the administration building to set up your account. But if you find that your uh, house does not have a Polycart, you can always call us at 580-616-7300. We'll ensure that you have a Polycart. And by the way, if you're new to the community, we want to say welcome to Enid, Oklahoma. We're glad that you're with us, and uh, uh, we're just excited that you're a part of our, our community now. Scott, let me ask you this. If you've been here for a while and you have the one poly cart, but you're thinking, man, I could choose, <laughs> sure use an extra poly cart. Can a person have an extra cart? How they, do they get it if that's the case? They, some people have two, some people have three or four. You can get additional carts for $5.50 a month. You can contact uh, Utility Services at the Administration Building or call us at the number 616-7300 uh, and we can get an additional polycart delivered. Scott, for just some background information, the thought just occurred to me that um, you have a team that gets up at dark 30 in the morning mm -hmm. Uh, to make sure trash is picked up from businesses and residential. Can you just kind of give us an overview how many trucks are out there on the street doing residential only pickup? We have uh, six drivers and six trucks that are responsible for picking up all the trash in Enid and so uh, we, we stay really busy doing that. So and, if, and if they don't get it at a particular time they're going to come back and get it. They're going to complete that route that particular day. So. Uh, we can only imagine the challenges when there's ice and snow and all of that. It really adds to that. Well, uh, one of the key uh, ingredients or, or item that we need to know about is really the placement of the polycard. There are specific guidelines and, and what are those guidelines because we want it to be safe for the property, safe for the driver, and a timeliness of picking up the trash. So what are the city's recommendations? Okay, here's what we need. We've got you know, drivers that are picking up 900 plus poly carts per day. And first off, it starts out by get, let's get our carts out by 7.30 a.m. That's when we start. So you'll put those right on the curb. And it, your poly cart needs to be a minimum of four feet away from any object. Now that will include your mailbox. That will include an additional poly cart. That will include your vehicle. So we, in order to get our, our grabber arms around those poly carts, we've got to have a little room. And so we need a, a minimum of four feet from any object, including additional carts, so that we can get in there and, and get the job done safely, so that we're not creating any damage or any additional uh, concern for you. And we appreciate those guidelines. And we want to remind everyone that the City of Enid, our Enid Television Network group, is working on providing an infomercial. Uh, you know, we, we touch on a lot of department videos, and we'll be working on a polycart video as well. It'd be kind of an instructional thing, but... Uh, we want it to be informative and helpful to everyone. Okay, we've got the poly cart, but how about these trash bags? Maybe they're um, full of extra trash, extra waste. What? Where does the trash bag fit into all this, Scott? All right, so on your household trash, uh, as the lid states, it should be bagged household trash. So we, we're asking for your help to make sure that it's bagged so that we don't have litter blowing around in the community and uh, also to make sure that we don't, we're not putting objects in there that stick way out of the cart. Some of our trucks are not able to dump that without making a giant mess, so lids should be able to be closed, but uh, let's, let's keep our household trash bagged and, and avoid putting long, uh, bulky objects in there that are not household trash. And again, Scott, in review, again, to help in the timeliness of picking up the trash and make sure the trash gets picked up and doesn't blow down the street, the recommendation again is the four feet from That's any right. object. Any object, any okay. object, four feet. All right, Scott Morris, supervisor at Solid Waste, giving us the the rundown, if you will, about poly carts. How to get a poly cart, additional cart, trash bags, and the safest place four feet away from any object 
So please keep that in mind. And what time you want the polycard out there? 7.30 a.m. 7.30 a.m. Okay, thank you for joining us on this Tuesday morning. Steve Kime reporting Facebook Live. Thank you for joining us. We're at the City Administration Building. Have a rest of a, a great rest of the uh, Tuesday afternoon.